So the absolutely fantastic thing about the DPA range of, of microphones is that, so here I've got a 4018 and a 4017 C preamp, B preamp. Um, they're, because they're modular, I can literally swap these around and or I can put these on a different cable. I can, there's just so much, there's so much um, uh, flexibility with the design. Um, I tend to use the B preamp for, uh, the, I, I tend to keep them in my blimps the whole time, pretty much. Um, just having that flexibility of being able to knock the bass out if if um, it's very high wind, or maybe you don't want to put a wind a high wind cover on your blimp. You want to kind of keep it a bit more bare, um, and it's just a very quick way of just knocking a bit of, of rumble out. Um, the the C preamp I tend to use more on my interior mics on my 4018s, but then I, I also have a 4017 that lives on a C preamp the whole time. Uh, just because it's a much more compact design and being able to, you know, to get it into smaller spaces. You know, this this is the the absolute daddy of capsules. It sounds beautiful, and it's in an in an enclosed space inside a car or in a you know in a small room or wherever it might be. This is is absolutely is 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 mint. Sometimes I need that. I need to get that right up to the ceiling, or I need to kind of put it in behind a sun visor in a car, something like that. So what I'll do is um, I'll get rid of the C preamp, um, and. Uh, I'll use one of these guys, which is called an MMP GS, and it's uh, essentially it's a um, it's just like a sideways cable that allows me to screw the capsule on. So I've got this thing here, which is you know with this side address cable on, it's that's just over an inch long, absolutely dinky. And um, whereas before you might have to have you know an XLR cable, then a power supply for Phantom, and then you're having to plug into a transmitter, and you've got this kind of big bundle of cables. This can just simply run out on a thin cable, and then on the other end, you've got the micro dot adapter. So I can put an adapter on there, which suits my transmitter, plug straight into my transmitter. So there's just, it's the most simple stripped back plant mic you can get, really.